back from school. She never made it to school. Yaira Tovar celebrated her 18th birthday less than a month ago and was excited to celebrate another milestone, her high school graduation and all the festivities that come along with it. She was excited for prom. She was, she was excited for prom. She had asked me to do her makeup for her, and now she's not going to get to go to prom. Yairet's future, her laugh, and constant joking came to an abrupt and tragic end Tuesday morning on State Park Drive, about a mile from her home. She was on her way to school when she collided with another vehicle. I usually go with her, but I was mad at her. We had just argued. I was just apologizing because I feel like it's my fault. I could have been with her. I could have helped her. She wouldn't have been alone. About an hour after Yaret left, the family got a knock on the door no one ever wants to get. I started hitting my head because I thought, like, it's a dream. Like, this isn't real. She had her backpack. She never made it to school. The whole time that we were here, like, eating breakfast, like, my sister was stuck in her car. They told us that they had to get machines to get her out. The Texas Department of Public Safety tells CBS Austin Yairet's car was traveling on the wrong side of the road, colliding head-on with another vehicle. She died at the scene. Yairet's younger sister, in disbelief, had the daunting task of identifying and the body. Like, once I walked up to the to the bag, I was, it's still not her. She's she's shorter than that. That's That's not what her body looks like. When my mom walked up, she unzipped the bag. My dad fell to his knees. A life taken far too soon and a devastated family left trying to pick up the pieces. To say that my sister's dead, like telling people like Yaida died, it doesn't feel real. Like, like it is just at school, she's going to come back. Immediately after Yaidet's passing, a GoFundMe page was started to help the family pay for funeral expenses. That page has now raised over $15,000. We've put a link inside this story on CBSAustin.com. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.